Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 4 from Working with Health IT Systems. If you remember, Unit 4 dealt with the effective HIT system. The focus of these exercises is upon understanding how the reporting function works and the strengths, weaknesses, and appropriateness of each type. The questions that are involved in this assignment I will not be addressing directly because you will be using another patient. These are just demonstrations of the functions that you can then come back and apply to your particular assignment. We're going to do some in-depth exploration of the reporting interface of VISTA CPRS and help you to get a deeper understanding of the difference between those different type of reporting functions within a single individual patient record. We're also going to work a little bit with data displays and graphical formats. The patient I'm going to be using for a demonstration is patient 1. So I will open Mr. Patient 1's record. And where I'd like to start here would be in demonstrating how to use the reporting function to extract particular individual values. As we click on the Reports tab, this is the normal display. Sometimes when you open this, someone may have left one of these plus signs open and it becomes much longer. But of course, this is the most concise view. To start with, let's look at clinical reports. Now, clinical reports, these are sort of already somewhat pre-configured, and so they are quite easy to use. I could choose any one of these and do a report. If I wanted the patient's insurance, or I wanted to know what sort of orders were outstanding for this particular patient. But let's start with some lab orders, because that's a frequent request. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to look at my patient's chemistry and hematology results. You can see I've chosen chem and hematology. But if I look down here, let's just say all results just to see what comes up. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it says it's retrieving, and it has pulled up a boatload of results here, which is all well and good, except if you are working with a busy clinician and you want to focus the view. You've got a whole bunch of data that the person maybe doesn't want. I do want to show you that you can sort order by clicking at the top row, and it will sort order for you. I'm going to sort by collection date and time. Now let's say, for example, if I had a user who said, I don't want to see all that stuff. I just want to see his serum sodium results on the 10th of November in 2008. Then you would use the calendaring function down here and a date range. This allows you to do a very focused view so you don't overwhelm someone with all that sort of data. Now, what well, we have the results only from the 10th of November in 2008. And I can look at his serum sodium. Here it is, serum sodium. And I can see the value was 147. And there's an H here. That's a flag. So I can order by flag status if I want to as well. And I can see that he was high. Because the reference range between 135 and 145 is normal, he had a 147. So the system automatically flags that as a high, abnormal value. So let's look at another result, like a discharge summary. What I'd like to do, let's do the all results again, just to see what comes up. OK. And it is going to show three discharge summaries. Now, if I want to look at a specific one, let's say I just want to look at the one on the 25th, I can single click, and it will actually show the discharge summary here in the lower window pane. I can click and drag up. Again, I can do a highlighting, a control C, control V. If you need this for your homework, paste it into a Word document or facsimile. Of course, discharge summary is just like looking at lab results. You could focus this by a particular date range if you chose to do that. The final report and clinical reports that I'd like to demonstrate for you is something like vital signs. Let's choose vital signs. And again, just like all the other reporting functions, you can set a date range, or you can choose today, one week, one month, one year, two years, all results. Let's choose all results for vital signs and see what kind of report is produced. And you can see that it produces a lot of data, particularly when you have a patient who has used the particular hospital, in this case the VA, over a long period of time. 